will deal with issue number three, four, and five as identified by the court, and that is whether there was a difference between Forms 34A uploaded on the IBC portal and the Forms 34A received at the National Tallying Center and Forms 34A issued to the agents at the polling stations. I will start with that issue. My ladies and my lords, the evidence that we supply for that issue is contained, first of all, the complaint is at paragraphs 81 to 91 of the petition, and the evidence is contained in the affidavits of Celestine Anyangu, Arnold Ochieng Oginga, Benjamin Agina, and Benson Wesonga. My lady, in Celestine Anyango's affidavit, the complaint is made that in 41 forms from the polling stations that she looked at, the forms 34A received by the petitioner's agents vis-a-vis -vis the forms 34A uploaded in the IBC portal and those brought to the tallying center are different. The sampled forms were from Bomet, Kiambu, and Kakamega counties. The evidence is at paragraphs, sorry, page 18 to 106 of the affidavit of Celestine Anyango. My lady, this, my ladies and my lords, this evidence should be considered together with the evidence in the affidavit of Benjamin Agena, sworn for the petitioner, paragraph 9. which deals with the Forms 34A that the petitioner, sorry, the IEBC had stated it would procure and the features in those forms that should have been used in the election. It is our contention that what the IEBC set out to procure is not what they procured in the first instance. Therefore, we cannot even match the forms that we have and that have been provided in the election to what they had set out to procure. We have stated in paragraph 110 of the petition, sorry, from paragraphs 108 to 110, that the IBC procured two parallel sets of forms 34A marked booklets one of two and two of two. It was intended that only booklet one of two would be used at the polling station, while booklet two of two was to be placed 
in a tamper-proof envelope. and not to be used at the polling station. The forms that have been transmitted, of the forms that were used to transmit the results in this election 2022, do not meet the standards or conform to either of the forms that the IBC said were going to be used, and this evidence is in the affidavit of Benjamin Again, that is the first limb of the evidence that we submit through Celestine Anyango that shows the deliberate mischief in the use of the statutory forms that was set out in the election and which we now complain of. Going now to the evidence provided by Celestine Anyango in the 41 forms, what was observed is that the forms that the agents have and the forms in the portal are the same in all features. They have the same serial numbers, they are embossed using the same stamps. They're signed by the same agent, presiding and deputy presiding officers. However, the figures in the forms have been tampered with and are different with regards to the results for the first petitioner and the results of the first respondent, William Samoy Ruto. It is in the forms, or the sample of forms, the 41 sample of forms exhibited by Celestine Nyango, that votes have been reduced from the first petitioner and added to the first respondent. We have calculated the total number of votes reduced from the first petitioner and added to the first respondent, and they add up to 2,793 votes. My ladies and my lords, we contend that the figures are important because of the slim margin with which the first respondent won the election or was declared as the winner in the election. And the court, we ask the court to keep a note on that. My, lady, the, my ladies and my lords, the difference between the result declared to overcome the 50% plus one threshold is 69,000 votes. 0.49%, which is the margin that the first respondent is said to have overcome the constitutional threshold is the equivalent of 69,000 votes. And therefore, when we look at the results and the numbers that we will show have been tampered with, either reduced or removed from the first petitioner's votes, we will show that those discrepancies affect the outcome of the election or the result of the election.
we have already shown that there is 2,793 votes removed from the first petitioner and added to the first respondent. There is also from Kakamega County, the example where votes would be deducted from the first petitioner, but not added to any particular candidate. The mischief that is also borne out in our affidavits is that the intention was to ensure that the total number of voters remained exactly the same. So, for example, just a minute. I beg your pardon. At page two of the affidavit of Celestine Anyango's affidavit at paragraph four, <coughs> my lady, just as an example, in Chepalungu, polling station one of one, the first petitioners and the physical copy of the Form 34A that was given to the agent, the first petitioner had 61 votes. In the form that was uploaded, or that is appearing in the IBC portal, the first petitioner has one vote. In the Form 34A of the same polling station, the first respondent William Ruto had 109 votes. In the Form 34A in the IBC portal, William Ruto has 169 votes. The 60 votes that are reduced from the first petitioner are added to William Ruto. The total votes remain the same. The same continues in all the 41 polling stations that we have sampled and annexed to the affidavit. Similar to that issue is the evidence sworn by, in the affidavit sworn by Arnold Oginga at page 4 to 13, where he highlights discrepancies in the forms 34A issued to the petitioner's agents and the ones uploaded by the first respondent, sorry, not the first, the IEBC, in the public portal. Arnold Oginga sampled polling stations, 25 polling stations in Baringo, 15 polling stations in Nairobi. And he finds the same results as Celestine Onyango, where a total of 1,570 votes are added to the votes of the first respondent William Samoy Ruto, that are not borne out by the original Forms 34A issued to the agents. From the affidavits or the evidence of Celestine Anyango and Arnold Oginga, 
we conclude or find that the total number of votes deducted from the first petitioner and added to the first respondent is 4,463 votes. The second issue that I will deal with, my lady, is issue number four, which is whether the postponement of the gubernatorial elections in Kakamega and Mombasa counties, parliamentary elections in Kitui Rural, Kachaliba, Rongai, and Pokot South constituencies, and the electoral wards in Nyaki West in, in Nyaki West in North Imanti constituency and Kwanjenga in Embakasi South constituency resulted in voter suppression to the detriment of the petitioners in petition number E005 of 2022. The evidence that we rely upon for this is also in the affidavit of Celestina Nyango, Arnold Oginga, and the affidavit of Ezra Sunguti, who was an agent of the petitioners in petition number E005 of 2022. 